What's up, everyone? Once again, for the third time in a day. <laughs> but it'll it'll seem more spread out to you guys because no one wants to see us three times in a day. Shh! Don't tell them our secrets. If you don't know by now that I don't have any secrets, <laughs> then that is your fault. You, you don't do a good job of keeping things in the closet. No, I don't. No, you're you're just out of the closet. I am completely out of the closet and I'm bringing you with me. Yeah, you're, you're you're doing what the military's doing. You're just coming all out. Don't ask, don't tell my ass. <laughs> I'm Get stay, it, my ass? I'm staying away from your ass. Thank you very much. He's the one and only KB. He is the charismatic cripple, the cripple Casanova, the disabled debutante. No, not debutante. No, I don't like that one. He's a pretty debutante. I don't like that one. Well, fine. The, I, I still like the Milo Meninja seal with the sex appeal. You would. Cause that, the, that, that is the biggest lie in the world. Yes. Well, maybe not in the world. No, it's, it's a pretty good lie. That George W. Bush can read above <laughs> Cat in the Hat may be the biggest lie in the world. Yeah, that might be one step above, above me, but yeah. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Maybe he reads that type of shit. I'm Josh. Your meal's on wheels. I am. Because we haven't figured out a better nickname for you. Nothing's really fitting or suiting me. No. So if anybody has suggestions, comment below. Yes. And what's a, what's above? The subscribe button. Yes. Hit that too. Hit that type there. Today we're going to discuss uh, the NFL, uh, specifically Michael Vick and the claims he made after the uh, New York Giants and Philadelphia Eagles game that uh, he was being fairly untreated or unfairly, unfairly treated. Tre what he said. Wow. I can't edit that one. There is no way to edit that one. That was just bad. Unfairly treated when it came to uh, being sacked and, and being hit after he threw the ball. Being put on his backside. Yes. More times than he did in prison. Second episode, and we're already going in the in the the jail rape jokes. Oh, I don't like Michael Vick, and I will say that. And I actually have another rant to go on about Michael Vick uh, towards the towards the end of this. Oh boy, of this uh webisode. Not wasting any time here, getting the controversy going. No, not at all. But Michael Vick, Michael Vick, like I said, claims that he's being unfairly treated. Uh, he didn't really say why but it, he kind of implied because of his past and you know I I don't necessarily disagree with him but in the New York Giants game I do not believe he was really unfairly treated because the the only reason Eli Manning wasn't on his ass more is because the uh, Philadelphia Eagles defensive line couldn't get there there were there were at least two hits during that Giants game where there was some helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact after he threw the ball and was driven to the ground. Normally speaking, that would be a penalty. He's got a legitimate gripe, and certainly the first thing that came to my mind was, was his past, and, and if there's some sort of vendetta against him for kind of letting, letting him take a little bit extra heat just for, for some of the mistakes he's made. If there are, then so be it. I don't really care. Um, but I, I personally haven't seen it myself. Yeah, he's been hit late a couple times. Uh, but I don't think the Giants game in particular, because this is when he made the claims after the Giants game, was really called too unfairly. I, I just believe that the the uh, Eagles were out line sucks. Yeah, the Eagles were outplayed that game. I'm more concerned, well... I'm equally as concerned with the offense as I am the defense because Asante Samuel needs to learn how to tackle. I'm sorry. Well, uh, he, he's not Bobby Taylor. Help me out with the guy from uh, Cromartie. Oakland. No, Oakland. Oh, uh, uh, Namdi Asamoa. What he said. God bless you. <laughs> yeah. He needs to step up too. Yeah, he, certainly. He's been you know, touted as the 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 main pick. The main steal of the off season and free agency, and he's he's made little to to no impact. And there's a certain amount of 
of history that comes with being an Eagles defensive player. And these guys are just, I don't know if they don't uh, have what it takes or if it's, just, if it's just a different game now. But it's certainly, they, they seem a little softer. Well, when you're being coached by an offensive line coach, yeah. it takes some time to to adjust. Another thing I wanted to get into, and it's an issue I've had since, well, I guess July 30, 31st or so when the NFL was allowed to start trading and signing players and all that shit again. Kevin Cobb to the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah. And my issue isn't that he's with the Cardinals because, you know, that's fine. But you, you try and bring this guy along to the next guy, the next new thing for 10 15 hopefully 12 years as as the guy. Then you sign Michael Vick to a $100 million extension. What's that, six years maybe, give or take? Six, seven years? Yeah, I believe it's seven years. Seven years, $100 million to a guy, listen to this, folks, to a guy who has only completed one full 16-game uh, NFL season in his entire career. Well, like I told you, Andy Reid is a great judge of uh, player... Uh skill and development oh he he's my my favorite coach of all time and, and really gives you uh the hard hitting uh tough answers that we we want to hear after each press conference we played poorly yeah. we got to do a better job of putting guys in position to to make plays i gotta coach better yeah, we gotta we have to do a better job <clears throat> i have to <clears throat> do better <clears throat> Yeah. How was that? Was that a good yeah. impression? Yeah, that that was 13 years worth of uh, press conferences. Yeah. Have you noticed that most of the backups that have been in Philly the last eight years mm -hmm. have done a better job at running the West Coast offense than the starting quarterbacks? Yes. So, I have. So does that mean that the Eagles just don't have the right personnel for the West Coast offense, or should they not? Do the run the West Coast offense? I don't think they should run the West Coast offense with the the quarterbacks that they have had. The two main ones now being uh, Don McNabb and Michael Vick. You've had two of the most athletic quarterbacks playing the, one of the most conservative types of uh, exactly offenses. Exactly. Like, so no, that is why it, it didn't work. But yet, you, know, you put any other quarterback in there, and they they seem to have no problem staying in the pocket and, and making making plays. Well, that's because they aren't running quarterbacks. These two guys that I mentioned are running quarterbacks. Uh, I don't want to say first and foremost, but it's in their nature to run. And as much as I was happy to see Donovan McNabb leave the city, there were a few years in there from. 2000 to 2005 or so where the man had the athleticism to escape anything and he was a hell of a quarterback at the time age uh unwillingness to change his style and bad coaching and his own stubbornness is is what ended his his tenure here right i think that's all the time we have for today that is well at least for right now that is all the time we have uh we will be back. So until then, subscribe, comment, keep on rolling.